So I'm in a hotel and I kind of wonder what I can do a still life of. Um, uh, maybe this. Maybe this. What is this? Shower gel. Oh, jeez. 2D perception. <laughs> I feel like I only have one eye. Hey, can I go this one? First try. Let's try grab this one. First try. Ah! Oh, I guess it's so to see. Okay, I'm gonna go this one. Oh! Oh gosh! What the? Oh! Okay, let's try again. Okay. I've done this three times. Practice makes perfect. Let's do this. Oh, jeez! Yeah, one of the most frustrating things in the world is no internet. No internet, look at this. Yo. Uh... Oh. So it's pretty late for me and I still need to make a video for today. And I don't think, as much as I'd love to, I really don't think I'm going to make that still life. So instead, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial. So I remember this problem I used to have with the Intuos 5 tablet. Um, yeah, Intuos 5 tablet, it's the medium size. I have the USB cable and I'd plug it into the tablet and the lights wouldn't really go on or like it'd go on and if I moved the cable, like even the tiniest bit, it'd like turn off. The, the tablet just wasn't functional with the USB cable and I did some research and found out that it's actually a common issue that the the electronics on the inside get a bit faulty through time and you know to solve this you can send it back to Wacom and then like you know they can assess it and then they can like charge you to send it back well, I don't really know how it works because I kind of live in you know the middle of like nowhere and a lot of the times it's not worth sending things back, especially depending on where Wacom is, I don't really know, anyway. In conclusion, I know it's more of a hassle sending the tablet back than it is trying to do something else. So I've just actually accepted that the tablet will not work with the, with the cable anymore. And so instead of solution I have, I have was, to, um, was to just buy the wireless kit and you, you can buy it on like Amazon or eBay or your local uh, art, you know, art store, maybe like electronic store sometimes. If you live in Western Australia, that could be JB Hi-Fi, but anyway, regardless, they, there's a wireless kit. Actually, I'll just put a photo of it. There's a wireless kit and you can, um, you can put the wireless kit inside your tablet. So there's the battery and you just chuck it in and then there's a dongle that you plug inside the laptop and then your tablet will sync up with the laptop wirelessly. Um, and that's great because now the tablet's going to work but the issue is you're supposed to charge using the, um, using the cable. Like when you plug it in it would automatically charge the, the wireless dongle but um, obviously we can't, we don't, can't use that function. We can't charge that wireless dongle so what we can do instead i know it's a it's not the greatest workaround i saw some guy on youtube actually and i'd totally look for the video but i don't have internet but um let me just find it i didn't bring it did i i'll put a photo yeah i'll put a photo so, so you can buy this wireless, I mean, you can buy this battery charger and with that, it's a universal battery charger and you can charge the Wacom batteries with that. So it's kind of nice that, you know, every six hours you have to take a break because the Wacom has run out of battery. And, you know, it stops you from like staying on the computer all day or like gives you a reason to take a break that is actually like more of a reason than taking a break for the hell of taking a break. I need some help. 
So, yeah, okay. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I appreciate it. If you want to follow this journey on like one year going from wherever the hell I am now to um, freelance designer, feel free to subscribe. I think I'm going to make it. I don't know why, but I've got a hunch. Okay, whatever. It's too late at night. Can't concentrate. Now I need to edit this video. Peace.